Good afternoon, my name is Pop. This video tutorial in Ubuntu Basics shows how you can download a new version of Calibre for making EPUBs. The version of Calibre that is in the Ubuntu Software Center is 1.0 and you can't get anything newer than that but there are some new features which have been added to Calibre and I want to show you how you can get the newest one. Go online and just kind of look up how to install Calibre and you'll find how to install Calibre 116 and it's actually 1.26 at this point and it's real easy to do. It's a two-liner and you do a copy and paste into the terminal. You find this two-liner right here. Put your cursor in front of it, hold down the shift key and then the down arrow and that copies, uh, that highlights it and then control C copies it. Then you will need to open up a terminal, control alt T and then when you go to your terminal, you paste by means of shift control V and then you hit enter. And then you'll go up and do the next line. Put your cursor in front of sudo, down arrow. Make sure you don't get anything more than what's uh, on that line. Control C. Go back to your terminal. Shift control V and then when you hit enter it installs the newest version of Calibre and you can install it right on top of the old version of Calibre and when when you get the new version it'll it'll uh, tell you it's 1.26 the reason I wanted to get the newest version is that a whole bunch of new features have been added notably there is an editor that is now built in that is very much like Sigil and you right click on a file and then go to edit book takes a second after this loads you will see that there is a built-in editor and it's quite extensive now this only works on for the main EPUBs let me just show you what it looks like you'll go to a section here tap on it and it will allow you to go in there and change anything that you want to without having to go back to the word processor file and then redoing the whole thing. And this does better than tweak. This is very fine-tuned control. There are some other things available in this new version also, but I would say this is one of the most important. My name is Pop and I have a whole bunch of videos on YouTube mostly about Ubuntu, Ubuntu Basics, and I hope this was helpful. Thank you very, very much.